like that. But when I take off the external resistance, some of that may come back. It may not be permanently damaged. So you see it's already eight and a half volts. So there's no way that you can start a car with a nine volt Duracell battery because you just can't get the current that you need for your starter engine. Your starter motor needs a few hundred amperes. If you take a car battery, that's about 12 volts. It has a very low internal resistance of about one fiftieth of an ohm. So that means that the maximum current that you can draw if you would short circuit it would be something like six hundred amperes. And so the maximum power, if you were so stupid to short circuit it, that would all be generated inside the battery would be something like seven kilowatts. If you ever work on your car, make sure that you never drop accidentally the wrench that you're using onto the battery. Because if you did, then inside the battery, about six kilowatts, seven thousand joules per second are going to be produced in terms of heat. And the sulfuric acid is going to boil. The case may melt, and that's no good. Not only is that stupid, but it's also very dangerous. So let's do it. <laughs> I have here this battery, and I have here the wrench. just in case. I'm going to short out that battery and as I do that, you will clearly see that the battery doesn't like it. I will be very careful not to hold on this wrench too long because it would weld onto it actually. It can weld onto it and stay there. The current is so high, it can go up to six hundred amperes that it can weld onto it and then you can't get it off anymore. In case that happens, I will walk out of here. <laughs> and I advise you to do the same. You ready? Okay, I go now. You see? That's what happens. Very high current. And when you do this too often to batteries, they're not going to live very long. They don't like it. But I wasn't joking when I said when you work on the car that you should avoid this because I have seen it happen that wrench is actually welded onto the terminals. Your electric company charges you for energy. They don't care about